Hello everyone, what's up? Prince Teen here with another review. Today I'm reviewing LEGO Bionicle set number 70789, Onua, Master of Earth. Before we get to the set though, let's take a look at the box. So, here we have on the box Onua, LEGO Bionicle, Mask of Creation. Uh, ages 8 to 14, of course that's just a suggestion, they have to put that on there. 70789, 108 pieces. Building toy, duet de construction, juguet power constructeur. I don't speak those languages. Onua, Master of Earth, Golden Mask, Skull Spider. On the back, uh, we've got the combination model advertisement. We've got Onua looking all Onua e, a mask that is not that golden in the actual set. I mean, look at that. That's shiny on that's shiny on the box. Why aren't you shiny? Uh, Onua, Master de la Terre, then Onua, Master de la Tierra, I don't know, I don't speak those languages. Uh, comic, we've got the Protector of Earth, Bing of Run, Rascal Spiders, Onua bursts out of the ground, grabs his elemental mask, and uses a big shockwave, it kind of looks like, to get the Skull Spiders away, and he saves the Protector of Earth. Um, gear function advertisement, you can flip the mask up and put the skull spider on there. That's really it for the box. So, here we have Onua himself. And he's pretty nice, he's very bulky, I mean look at the size of that chest piece. For just a quick comparison to see how big the chest piece is, here's a, here's a clone trooper. That's a pretty big chest piece. Um, he he's he's quite an interesting build. He's built very interestingly because he's so big. Um, his gear function is if I can get it to work here. Here we go. Is the two arms? They move, but you can't get them to go all the way around because of the gigantic shoulder pads. So. There we go. Kind of does that. Like such. Um, something I find interesting is that Onua's neck is that you can do, is that you can kind of do that. Because it's got one of those pieces on there, and then that connects to the head. And then this is actually kind of how the Instruction? No, is it how the instructions tell you to put it? I think yeah. If I remember correctly, this is actually how the instructions tell you to keep the head, but that doesn't look right. So I mean, what I do? Well, maybe the instructions do tell you to do this, but oops. Just put the neck like that, and then. I'm really digging this mask. This looks really, really nice. I really like the way that this mask mask turned out. This is probably one of my favorites out of the new line of Bionicle sets. Uh, he's got gigantic shoulder pads, as you can see here. And then you can kind of move them around to adjust them, whatever. Uh, and then the shoulder pads also double as his weapons, which I am unable to show you guys the alternate weapon mode for this one, unfortunately, because I uh, kind of put a wrong piece in there, and then in order to get it off, we had to use pliers, and it kind of broke one of the pieces, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, this is, <laughs> this is really the only way you're going to see the weapons this time, um, how they would work is that, Taking them out of his hand is that these two bits would clamp together like such, and then there would be a thing attached here to where it would be a big hammer. But oh, that, I kind of broke it. So uh, anyway, putting the weapons aside, uh, he's it. one thing I find is that his feet are gigantic. I mean, look at that. Everything out about everything about Onua is big. The only thing is, is that he's not the biggest Toa, but we'll get to size comparisons in a minute. So, uh, as far as other feature, you can pop the mask off. 
like such in order to fit the lime green colored skull spider on there but then pop that off as of, uh, <laughs> along with one of its legs and then take the golden mask of earth and pop them on the oh dear what happened and then give him his golden mask Goodness. There we go. Alright, so let's give him back his weapons, or tow tools, whatever. I don't know what they're calling them this time around, because they haven't really said. Yeah. See, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this piece is all... Plastic's all warped and everything. Alright, now, for size comparisons, here he is with... Tahu. Get, oh dear, that piece just came off. Come on, there we go. Here he is with Tahu. Put these off to the side so you can see how they stack up. I lowered Tahu's swords. So Tahu is taller than Onua, which is weird because the online animations on Lego.com. Uh, make Onua out to be the tallest out of all of them because he's the, kind of a big lumbering brute almost. So uh, that's kind of interesting, but um, eh, it's kind of like with Transformers, everything isn't always size to scale. So anyway, that's him with Tahu. And here he is with Liwa. That just happened again. Here we go. All right. So he's with the neck positioned the way it is on Onua. He's just a little shorter, as you can see. There. Yeah, just a teeny bit shorter. So that's it for the size comparisons. So, what do I think of this set? Well, it's a pretty good set. Uh, I really, I besides the fact that I kind of broke it a bit with um, messing up some of the pieces, uh, I had a pretty fun time building Onua. He was a pretty interesting build. Really enjoyed that. His gearbox was interesting to put together, as you can see, because I mean, you think that both sides would be the same, but no. The, sides weren't the same uh, partially because there's this piece here to kind of store the big hammer handle on had I been able to get it built properly but I didn't so uh, there's that um, one thing that bugs me about this set is that it came with stickers those are not printed on his gigantic chest piece those are uh, stickers which I find very annoying um, because I am not very good with stickers at all. I loathe them with a passion because I can never put them on right. Um, I believe though that this chest piece is also uh, Lord of Skull Spider's is face. So I think, and so, because this is not printed and it's stickers, I think Lord of Skull Spider's also has stickers. Uh, joy. More stickers. But, um, other than the fact that because of my stupidity I was not able to put it together correctly with the hammers with the hammer thing and the stickers um, I think I give this set a 9 out of 10 uh, the thing that I just because I couldn't put it together correctly that's not really detracting from the set because it's a great set uh, I just am beating myself up because of that but it's the stickers that make me take the point away because other other than that it's a great set I really like it um, I think all the colors work great and uh, it inter is not, I really like it um, just in case you want to know what the hammer looks like I'm just now saying it's on the box so that's what it's supposed to look like 
and then the stuff in here that you can't see on the box that gets it to stick together, that's what I ended up breaking. Oops, just hit my light. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Feel free to like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. And join me next time when I shall be reviewing The Master of Ice.